Hello everyone, I'm home and today was the day of my free wig event, Restore Your Glory. It's been an annual tradition of Trinity Lace Wig since 2009 before I even had a location. Um, 2010 when I first um, moved out and branched out to a brick and mortar location. But I've always wanted to have something to give back and Restore Your Glory was what I was given. And I just wanted to share some information because most of you who know me, Know that Trinity Lace Wigs is a faith-based um, company. It's a small business of mine, and I really try to be a good steward with what God gives to me. And I believe that any time you're given something, you do have to give back. And so this is my opportunity um, to do that. But Restore Your Glory, um, today was kind of different for me. Restores your glory. It comes from 1 Corinthians 11 and 15. What it talks about, if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is giving her for a covering. And my heart goes out to those women who are dealing with appearance-related issues, secondary to cancer or immune deficiency disorders and different things that they no longer have hair. So I use it as an opportunity to be able to give back. And as a business owner, I sat here reflecting once I got home this afternoon about the event because that's what you do in business. Uh, you consider, okay, what was done, uh, what was done great, or what could have been done better. And I found myself being a little disappointed. And uh, I just wanted to maybe hopefully bless somebody else if at all possible. This is probably maybe the first year that we only had one person participate. Um, after the press releases, the uh, communication with the newspapers in the local area, the um, TV stations, um, going by the beauty supplies to hand out flyers, uh, the American Cancer Society, and that's where this person found out American Cancer, the different beauty supplies in the area. I only had one person participate and uh, she didn't make her call and reserve RSVP until maybe a few days uh, before the event. But nonetheless, after I started to look at the highs and the lows of today of what could have been done better, um, what, did, what went well, the fact of the matter is that I got to service one person. And a lot of times we look at things uh, quantity and we need to look at quality. I met a beautiful person today and each year the Lord brings into this event women who are just have resounding strength, who are dealing with different various diagnoses. But um, as I minister and, and encourage to them as I do on their heads, as I gift them with a wig, they gift me with so much strength and insight into what they're dealing with. And some of them have the most encouraging words and give me testimony about different things and so as I thought about that today I said you know I didn't have big numbers today but I was able to spend time with a very beautiful person uh, who was dealing with um, a life-altering situation she's lost her hair behind it but has not lost her confidence in God a very spiritual woman I met today and was able to be blessed by her as I hope that I blessed her um, she blessed me, I was blessed by her, and I hope that I blessed her. So I just felt, I just felt prompted to um, give a little insight on today and how I felt about my big event. And it's not necessarily about me, and please don't get that. I just wanted to maybe help five or ten women today, like in years past. But today that wasn't the way it was supposed to be. Um, I was able to be a blessing to one special person, spend time with her, and um, uplift her, and she honestly blessed me today. So, um, restore your glory, everybody. Uh, here are a few pictures of what transpired today. Have a blessed one, and restore your glory 2017 is going to be in the works, okay? Bye-bye.